Nee, 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 Bam. What we got right here? We got that strand ass. Look at this right here. I love the top of this. If you're out in, the, out in the wilderness, camping, look at this long, tall shot glass. Baja. Like that. Anyway, this one right here. We got this Strenan Sherry Cast Single Malt from the Rocky Mountain, Colorado. 47%. This is a domestic Sherry Cast. Most Sherry Cast we know is from overseas. We got your smoky, your, basically your Scotch whiskeys. This one right here is domestic Sherry Cast. Let's see if they hit the mark or not. Let's go. What's up? Drams on deck. Today we got the Stratton's Sherry Cast on review. This one right here, 47% as I said earlier. And honestly, man, this is probably the very first domestic Sherry Cast whiskey that I've had. All the Sherry Casts I've had before have been, you know, obviously Japanese whiskey from uh, Taiwan, um, from obviously uh, Scotland or even Irish. So it, it, I, I don't think I've ever before had a strictly domestic whiskey and sherry cask. So this one right here is a four-year-old domestic whiskey that's been aged in first fill Oloroso sherry. So it's kind of young, four years. Um, I actually like the top right here. It's a very long top. This thing is probably has at least a good, uh, I don't know, three ounces or so. And so if you ever had one of these bottles, you know for sure that when you hold it, sometimes you may think you can hold it from here, but if you do that, you'll drop it. Always be sure to hold it from the bottle or the side, but don't just hold it from here because it's going to fall out. So it comes off and on, but it's a cool feature that comes with the, uh, this right here. So strand hands right here, Sherry Cast uh, from Colorado, believe it or not. This right here. You see the color, like I said, it's 47% ABV, has a medium brown, uh, amber color to it. And I actually, this is the second bottle of Stranahan's I've had. I actually they have a single cast that I had. It has like a yellow stripe. That was pretty good. I got this one right here, which is a sherry cast. And then there's a diamond peak that comes in a black colored label. So this is this maroon color for the sherry. The black label for the Diamond Peak, and then the, for the single cast, it's the yellow. So those are like the three major uh, expressions that they come out with. And they also have a single uh, a single cast cast strength. I've never had the cast strength. So I've only had this regular 47% uh, single cast and this. That being said, uh, like I said, trying to hands on deck. As you can see, it's the very end. I figured I'd give it a review. This right here is a little bit what I call a sleeper, a snoozer, in that... Most, it's not very advertised, not very known to my knowledge. It's kind of, you know, uh, floating under the radar. And, you know, and this is something that, you know, it cost me $75 at Total Wines. So it's not necessarily like a $40 bottle, which is average price. It's above average price. So it, it has, it's not super pricey, but it's a little bit above average as far as what you would pay for maybe your average or normal whiskey. Is it worth it now? We're going to get into that. But, you want something that's different, but you still want sherry, this is something that, hey, we can, we can dive into and see. Like I said, they don't have this in every state and everywhere. So if you have it in your state, in your area, then I would say maybe check it out. Um, certain states have different inventory, so it all depends on where you at. So um, that being said, it's only four years old. So it's young, sherry, first field, all the row. So domestic, we're going to see if they did a good job like they like to do over in Scotland. That being said, let's jump on his nose, people. Let's see what we got. Damn, off the top. Definitely pick the sherry up on the nose. It's first fill. And on the nose, you, you can definitely get the wine influence. I pick up raisins, dates, sherry. I pick up those and a little bit of, uh, of honey. So you pick up the honey, vanilla, the, the wine influence, the date raisins, that's what I pick up on this. Has a very nice raisiny, sweet fit uh, uh, smell to it. It's very nice. It's not like overly pungent where it's burning your nose or anything like that. It's pretty nice. 
you see the color again. It's not super oily. It's only four years old. Um, but the color's nice. The nose is nice. Yeah, it has a very nice, pleasant nose. Like I said, raisin dates, honey, vanilla, very pleasant. Not bad at all. So, let's jump on this palette. Let's see what we got. The first step, I'm going to coat the palette. Second step, it's really going to saturate that palette. Soak it in, deepen the pores, so I can really break them notes down for you. Here we go. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw a domestic sherry cast finish, I'm like, what does Colorado know about sherry cast? When you think of sherry cast, you think of McAllen's, the Ball Vinnies, a multitude of different scotches, Glenmorangi, Glendronic. So a lot of the sherry, Glen Farkas, if you a real whiskey or a scotch head, with all those names I just named, you know what those are if you a scotch person. In particular, if you love sherry cast. So when I first saw this domestic Colorado sherry, I'm thinking, what the hell do they really know about sherry? So, you know, I tried. I initially tried the single barrel, which is good. It was not sherry influence. Then I got this one. So I say, when I, I was like, I didn't know exactly because this is something that's kind of new and everyone didn't review and it's not real known. So I gave it a shot on the whim. Like, let me see what the sherry cast tastes like. That being said, after trying it, I think they did a damn good job with this one. You know, I really did. It's like, because I'm going to be honest with you. I reason why I thought that is I've had the the Bella Mead um, uh, sherry finish bourbon. And I didn't think, I, to, to me, the sherry tastes kind of a little cheap. Like it was a third feel almost, I, which is almost unheard of. Like it, was, it felt like a third or fourth feel. It didn't, it didn't really feel sherry-like. This one, you can definitely taste the cherry. It doesn't taste cheap. It doesn't taste watered down. It tastes very, very sherry. And it's, it's, it's very, it's, it has a very nice mouthful of sherry all around. So like I said, it did a damn good job, if I have to say so myself. It's 47%, so it has uh, some oomph to it, but there's no bite, no burn. You, have a, you, dip, you get a mouthful of that sherry, that dates, the raisin, the plums. You get like, the, but the, the, the fruit is a little bit like, that's just, just a small influence. But the but the sherry itself is what you get the most of it, which is a little bit of those small fruity enhancements on the back end. But from the front to the end, you pick up the sherry. I don't pick up any oak because it's only four years old. So it's not super old. It's not as if you have like a 10 year old or 15 year old whiskey. It's four years old, finishing sherry, first fill, and that sherry must be pretty damn good cash because it, it I definitely pick it up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So you get, like I said, the, the a lot, multitude of the sherry, the vanilla, the dried fruits, you know, some of those dried fruits, like I said, you know, maybe like a raisin and a date, but it is it's pretty damn good. I must say so myself. I, it, it shocked me. I was like, okay, this is doable. I, I can work with this. I definitely can work with this. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Let me get one more small sip and I'm going to get to the rating. Mm. You definitely pick up sherry. Sherry, dates, that's a raisin. As I'm reiterating what I said earlier. You picked it up a lot. So if you a sherry guy, and you like the dried fruits, you are in your wheelhouse. This can fit the bill all day long. Now, it's different. Like, if you ever had a Mac 12 or something like that, it doesn't taste like a Mac 12. But it does have this, it has a sherry flavor definitely impacted that. It's, 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 so, you know, if you had a Mac 12, or just put it out there for people who are sherry lovers, it doesn't taste like that. But it does taste very sherry. Because this is, it actually, it costs slightly more than which, um, or the same price as a Mac 12. So, 
McAllen 12, for those who, who may not be a, a Scotch directors. McAllen 12 is, a, is a, pretty much the, the one of the golden staple brands in the Scotch brand. And they have a 12 year old sh uh, sherry. It was one of the very first ones that made me fall in love with Scotch. But getting back to this, what we're really reviewing, it does its job. I mean, like I said, it's $75 or so, you know, depending on where you get it from, around $70 or so. So, you know, it has a little price to it, but I think it's solid, though. It's definitely solid. It's an alternative for a domestic um, uh, uh, sherry cast. I think it did a pretty good job. Of it. If I had to rate this 1 to 10, 10 being the best for me, Dram's on deck, Shanahan sherry cast for me, man. You know, I, I'm really surprised how well they did this. So if, if you are a sherry guy, I give it a solid eight. If you're a sherry guy, it doesn't have no peak to it. You know, it's not. A, it doesn't taste like a bourbon. So you got to keep that in mind. So I would say eight for a sherry lover. I give it an eight for a sherry lover. If you're not a sherry guy, I wouldn't suggest you buy this because it's, it's very sherry. It's very dry fruit, and it has the enhancement, like I said, the raisin day, but it's very sherry. So if you're someone who's like, okay, sherry is okay or not a big fan of it, I would suggest getting this bottle. It's just like sherry is very pungent on the on the palate, even on your nose. It's just very in your face, but it's good, and I like it. Um, so the only thing I will say that because it's young, it's not as viscous. So if you ever had like a 15 year sherry or a 12 year sherry or even an 18 year sherry, like a Glendronic or something like that, like it has an all or also and PX sherry, that type is very older. It has that, and those sherry, it has two different sherry. So it's very viscous, meaning oily. So when you swirl it around and you, and you sip it, it lingers a little bit longer and it coats your palate more because it has more oily. It's more consistency. This one's not super oily, and it's not as aged. So it does have a decent linger. Believe it or not, it, it has a medium finish to it. It's not long like maybe a dronic, clendronic per se, but it has a medium finish to it. And, I mean, it coats it pretty decent for a young for it's a young it's a young buck four years. So so it does it. Hey, for four years, it, I will say I'm pretty impressed. It's, it's so don't expect a Glendronic or a Macallan 12. It's not as refined as a as the 12 or 18 years. But for four four year, I was pretty impressed, especially the being it being domestic. So would I buy this again? I would buy it again. Yeah, for 70 bucks, yeah, I buy it again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm rushing out to get it, but if I see it again, it, it's definitely a buy. I give it a solid eight out of a ten. I think they did a good job. Like I said, dry fruits, sherry pungent, um, no burn, no bite, 47%. Um, they, they did a pretty good job, I must admit. I, I was kind of shocked by this. So uh, if you see it and you're interested, you want something different, like a domestic or whatever the case may be, check it out. I don't, if you, like I said, if you're a sherry person, sh I'm a sherry, I think you'll like this. You know what I'm saying? If you're a, if you're a peat guy and that's all you do is peat or like a, a, a bourbon, like super, you know, like a traditional bourbon that's more vanilla or something like that, it doesn't taste like neither one of those things. So if you if that's what your royal house is, that's not quite going to fix your bill. But if you're a sherry guy, check it out. You won't be disappointed, at least in my opinion, I don't think. So um, like I said, I hope you like the review, man. So if you see it, if you, if you like those notes, check it out, man. Dram's on deck. Coming with more heat for you. Appreciate the love, man. I'm going to check. Uh, if you check my uh, the description link, I'm going to leave the link for my Instagram page. Be sure to check my Instagram page. I have a lot of bottles on there. Get to the review, the past review that's on there, and splice with a little bit of uh, other reviews that I have in there. So check that out, man. And like I said, likes and subscribes are for free. I appreciate your time. Dram's on deck. I'm out of here. Yes, sir.